Hey team, hope everybody's having a great week so far as you are powering uh, ever nearer to the end of the semester. It's crazy to think that we're as, uh, as, as close as we are. Um, I wanted to take a second at the beginning of lecture uh, just to say thank you to you guys. Um, I've had some excellent conversations uh, with a lot of y'all about um, not only your analytics certifications, uh, but also having conversations about your Mimic Pro work, um, wanting to continue to get uh, better. So if you're curious about anything that's happened in Mimic Pro, um, why, you know, for example, maybe you didn't, weren't able to spend all of your budget or uh, why uh, certain things happened, um, let me remind you guys, you know, I, I own a digital marketing agency, and so uh, I live in this world a good bit. Uh, I've done Mimic Pro uh, several times, uh, both on the instructor side and on uh, the student side. So I, I, I have a good understanding of uh, why what happens happens uh, on this. Um, so, uh, and, and I, I, I'm a very big fan of how Stukent has designed this, uh, because things happen for a reason, uh, on Mimic Pro. So if you have any questions about why, uh, you're receiving the results, uh, that you have, or, uh, your class rank is what it is, um, please don't hesitate to reach out, uh, on this. I'm, I'm happy to answer those questions. It's, it's actually a lot of fun for me, uh, to do that. Um, so awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, thank you guys as well for sending in your, uh, your groups that you're going to do on, uh, excuse me, your companies, uh, that you're going to do for your final project. Um, if you have any, uh, need any assistance helping out, uh, uh, uh from me helping you on who to decide or, uh, what type of company is best to, uh, do as your final project. I'm more than happy to either email back and forth or have a phone call with you. Um, I, I'd, I'd love to do it. If, and if the SoStack method is a bit cumbersome to you, has been a bit confusing, um, I'm going to send this out in an email to everyone, but I also want to make sure uh, that you know uh, that you're welcome to set up a meeting time uh, with me as well. It can be as short or as long as you'd like. Uh, either over the phone or in person if you're local to uh, the Chattanooga area. I'm more than happy to do that quick explainer with you um, to, to set you up for success with this final project. Uh, that's going to be the main focus of what we talk about this evening. I wanted to dedicate uh, an entire week to um, you know making sure that you are prepped and ready for this final project. Uh, and so what you're seeing on the screen right now, I'm going to post a, as an announcement as well, but just some tools uh, that might become useful to you uh, as you are engaging in this final project. Um, as I've told you guys already this evening, uh, I'm a digital marketing strategist, uh, own a, a digital marketing agency, and I'm a minority partner at another marketing agency. Um, and so... I live in this world, and so I, I love doing this uh, type of thing. Uh, and so one of the things that I want to make sure you remember in your final project is uh, this isn't necessarily opinion time. This is data time. This is where we lean on data to uh, form strategic decision-making. Okay? Um, and so... I want you, especially in that beginning analysis part, that first S in uh, in in the SoStack method, uh, to make sure that you're leaning heavily on uh, on data for this. Right, you're uh, you're going to be looking at data on your own brand that you've chosen, and I want you to do some competitive analysis too. So you'll be looking at uh, a couple of competitors, and I'll show you some examples uh, of what that looks like in a few examples here in just a little bit. And then I want you to look at data on your industry as well. So the things that you're looking at right now um, will provide you examples of all of that. Um, and so uh, 
and, and then and then or excuse me, we'll provide you the data for all of that. And then I'll walk you through um, a few former students uh, work and you'll see you'll see the way that they've uh, done this analysis part. Right, so um, SpyFu, BuzzSumo, and, and Quintly, all very good social media competitive analysis tools uh, for you to use on the social media side. What I encourage you to do on social media, uh, and, and like I said, you'll see this as an example, is to uh, do a lot of this manually, especially the competitive analysis part. Um, you can do this uh, by setting up a grid and just manually typing in, just like a spreadsheet, uh, some different tools. Let me go ahead and, uh, rather than continue to tell you about it, uh, we'll look at Denrel's really quick. Uh, I believe that he uh, did a good job here. Yeah, so here's his competitive analysis uh, that he uh, started with here. Right, so uh, as you can see, he didn't actually do his in a grid right here. What he did, though, was just hop to each different, uh, each different competitor and ensure that... So this is an analysis of the Chattanooga Zoo. Um, and he did a quick website uh, analysis... He looked at their Instagram following and looked at their Facebook following uh, as well. And then not just doing the snapshots, but what's critical that Denrel did a good job of uh, is provided some context. What I don't want is uh, just a, a bunch of snapshots on a page. Uh, you've got to put some context behind it as well. Um, I actually think that Denrel could have used, this is probably the weakest part of, uh, this project where uh, I would have recommended he, um, he give me a little bit more in, uh, the analysis of the data and not just, uh, snapshots as well. Right. So if you're doing, uh, social media as part of your analysis, which almost everybody will be. Um, and almost everybody will have rec uh, the recommendation to engage on social media. Um, I highly recommend you mock up some content uh, for this. Uh, and so great places to do that. Number one, the, the Facebook Creative Hub uh, is an excellent place to start for advertising. Um, to leverage the Facebook Creative Hub, uh, you're going to have to make a mock Facebook page and a mock ad account. That's a really easy process to do. Um, just at the top right of your screen on your Facebook account, uh, you'll click uh, that downward facing button and start a page. And, uh, and it's pretty easy to start an ad account as well. But the Facebook Creative Hub uh, is an incredibly helpful, um, incredibly helpful tool uh, to, to leverage with this uh, just because it can show you different formats of ads that other companies have done, and then we'll let you mock up one uh, on your own. If you have access to the page as well, it will be helpful for you to, or I mean, you'll be creating a, a mock page. It will be helpful for you to mock up some just sample content as well. All right, uh, if you don't want to go through that, I, I think you should because uh, the Facebook Creative Hub is an excellent learning opportunity for you on an ongoing basis. Um, but if you just want to do some very quick, uh, rudimentary uh, Facebook ad mockups, uh, Ad Parlor is a uh, is a sufficient tool for that. If you're wanting to um, look at website traffic, if search engine optimization uh, and excellent websites is a uh, is a part of your strategy, which most of them are, um, most of them will contain that. Then similar web website grader and uh, and Google's PageSpeed Insights. I've got well, I've got several for you to look at down here um, to be able to do Google's Keyword Planner is really designed to help out with a paid search strategy. Um, but it's also, that information can certainly be leveraged 
on um on, on the website side as well right i mean uh, it's 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 looking at uh, search trends for uh, specific keywords um more generalized on web traffic you can look at google trends uh, which can provide some great insights for you uh, on your industry analysis as well as an analysis of your brand itself. Um, to look at Google's Keyword Planner, uh, just a quick note, you will need a, a Google AdWords account uh, to do this, but you certainly don't have to spend any money. That's a free thing to set up. Um, you'll just need to set up a Google AdWords account first. If anybody needs help on how to do this, um, please feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help you with that. Uh, Google's PageSpeed Insight uh, is just a good website speed analysis tool. Um, what I don't want you to do on any of these is start to throw out industry language that uh, you don't know what it means, right? So in your presentation, keep in mind that I'm going to be asking you questions. And if you can't explain what a certain term means, um, Right, I'm gonna drill. Uh, I'm gonna drill down on that uh, if I suspect you don't know what something means. So um, just make sure if you put it in your analysis that you're able to explain what you're talking about. Uh, Neil Patel is a, a good social uh, or digital marketing at large thought leader. Um, his, his website is gonna try to get you to buy stuff, but his SEO analyzer tool is free to use. You'll just have to make sure you don't sign up for any email of his or anything like that uh, if you don't want it. Um, and, uh, yeah, it, it, fairly similar to, um, got a lot of similarities to, uh, Google's PageSpeed Insights and, uh, Website Grader uh, drills down a little bit more on the keyword side of things than Website Grader does, but, uh, it's a good tool as well. Like I said, I'll post the links to all of these, uh, on the class website. Awesome guys. So let's go step by step. I'm largely going to be quiet as I go through, uh, this right here, um, except for I'm going to just, uh, uh, what I'm going to do is chime in every now and then with uh, pointers for what General did that was most effective. And then after this, uh, we will uh, go through one more from a, another student. Right, so what General did a, a really good job of, what you're not seeing is there was a, additional content that he provided um, with uh, pages like this uh, in the notes section where he uh, you know, talked a little bit more about um, what you were seeing on the website uh, and the purpose for all of it. General actually went the extra mile and uh, and actually interviewed someone on the marketing team at the Chattanooga Zoo. It was great. Went through, did a website grader analysis. Uh, you're seeing some bullet points over here. If all he had done was just these bullet points that you're seeing to your right, that would not have been sufficient uh, for his website analysis. Uh, but he did give me a lot more uh, in the notes section. You're seeing where he's already, already starting to go a little bit more in depth here. And feel free on this video, guys, to, to pause, obviously. So with choosing your competitors on this, you certainly are going to have to um, make your best assessment. If you need any help on that, uh, let me know. Uh, I recommend you choose uh, two, maybe three at the most uh, for this. You've seen these. I like that he provided some, uh, at least a, a view of the, the competition down here uh, of, of comparing to himself. Might, like I said earlier, might be helpful to do this in a uh, in a spreadsheet format. Let's 
So I thought this the the past two slides were a little weak um, on this, but certainly appreciated uh, his analysis or his his providing why to what he was recommending. Really liked his recommendation of Snapchat and, and the reason of why. Uh, in his presentation, he spoke a little bit about Snapchat's geo filters uh, and, and has a little bit more about this in his notes um, section. So uh, he did a really great job in this part. Same thing here. Followed all of this, uh, these two bullet points up. Uh, in his uh, in his notes section with additional content. You know, uh, this was uh, another section that probably could have been a little bit better uh, on this. I would have appreciated some specificity uh, to this by talking about Google Analytics uh, or Facebook Insights to uh, to measure this. Um, because, uh, you know, he's telling me the importance of measurement, but he just, he didn't, wasn't very specific on how or what. He did follow it up with this Google analytics slide right here though. Um, but I would have appreciated a little bit more specificity, uh, like I said about, you know, specifically what would that, uh, you know, what would that grid look like on Google analytics? Um, what would that dashboard actually, you know, physically look at? Maybe, maybe mock up a Google Analytics dashboard uh, right here. But similar to a lot of you guys, General really got into uh, took the advanced Google Analytics certification uh, in his course. So this was of keen interest to him, uh, and so I really appreciated uh, his work on this on this part. And then we had questions. Um, so it was really awesome. Okay, so you'll see a very different one uh, from Colin right now. As you'll see on Colin's, he really, he, he very loosely followed the SoStack method, but Colin was actually in the process of pitching this, uh, this company on a consulting deal. And so um, you'll see that he did this a little bit differently um, than than General's was. General made, um, by the way, on his, uh, and like I said, you didn't see a lot of his notes section. Uh, I kind of want to do that intentionally so you guys don't uh, aren't tempted to uh, copy too much uh, his format, but General got in the low to mid A uh, range for his product. I believe he got a 95 on it, if I remember correctly. But I was very pleased with his work. So did a good job here of uh, not just providing the website grader analysis, but then dove into uh, much more about the traffic. Really pleased with the um, really pleased with the work uh, that Colin did on this. Uh, very good project. So he could have done well by using Google Trends uh, to make this point a, a, a good bit better, I think. Similar to Generals, he didn't do the uh, a grid, which is perfectly fine, but really appreciated uh, that he took the time to uh, do a good competitive analysis and analyzed it really well, provided good context that you're seeing on that bottom right-hand corner. It's 
So this is where you'll see him kind of get in the weeds a little bit. That's okay because, like I said, he was doing this for himself. I've had other folks who are uh, own their own business who wanted to go a little bit more in depth because they were actually going to use this. Um, so feel free once again to deviate away from the so stack method. Um, this is all of these look different, and so it's important that it makes sense for you or your client. Um, you know, and and so feel free, like Colin is right here, to make this a lot more robust. Did a lot of uh, keyword data down here, uh, keyword research on uh, on barber shops in Chattanooga. So since, like I said, since he was pitching this client. I felt the need to do a, a good bit of explanation here. Which, once again, is perfectly fine. All right, now let's look at the social overview of what he's doing. So did a good job of, of providing recommendations for where they should be more active. Um, uh, and uh, like I said, just, just did a good job of providing the why and providing evidence of that. So really would have liked in this section for him to have mocked up some ads uh, right here. Mock up some content. Same thing on Twitter. Obviously, Google Plus doesn't exist anymore, but uh, you could do some great conversations surrounding Google My Business. All right, so as you see, Colin went uh, pretty darn in depth with his. Uh, he, he did incredibly well on this project. Uh, I was very pleased, uh, very pleased with his work. You can see how he did his work cited. I think that's great, guys. This is sufficient for a work cited page. Um, uh, for for all of your work, I'm not I'm not too concerned about like a formal uh, a, a formal bibliography or anything like that. All right, guys, I hope this quick rundown was helpful. Once again, please, please, please feel free to reach out to me. This is a great time to get kickstarted on that final project and everything, uh, and you can make your life a whole lot easier uh, for the rest of the semester if you go ahead and get cracking on, that, uh, on this this week. Hope you have an outstanding week, guys. Go Mox!